deep learning is compute bound. Um, it ha or to put it another way, it has a high arithmetic intensity. And what that means in practice is you don't need much memory storage, you don't need much memory access, but you do need the ability to run millions or hundreds of millions of arithmetic ops in order to execute these uh, machine learning models. Um, luckily, that matches what these kind of microcontrollers actually have. They might only have a few hundred kilobytes of memory, but they're able to run uh, tens of millions or hundreds of millions of instructions every second. And interestingly enough, when I joined Google, I found that the Hey Google team were running a 13 kilobyte model on DSPs in order to do speech keyword recognition. Um, and Apple have actually done a blog post about how they've been doing the same thing for years. So these speech teams have actually found that running neural networks on these tiny computers is the most effective way of dealing with their sensor data. Uh, but it hasn't been something that's been widely known, either in the embedded community or in the machine learning community. Um, so we already have proof of some really practical applications where this works. They're just not very well known because they're hidden within big companies. And one of the really nice things is that because deep learning is mostly about doing arithmetic, it's about doing tens of millions or hundreds of millions of arithmetic operations a second, um, you could actually do it with very, very little power usage. For example, even on existing hardware, it might take five picojoules in order to do one arithmetic operation. Um, and doing a mobile net uh, V2 image recognition uh, model could take around 22 million operations. So that means we can make a rough estimate of the power required to be about 110 microjoules. Uh, so if you run that mobile net image recognition model uh, once a second, one frame per second, um, that's running at 110 microwatts, which you could run on a coin battery, even on existing hardware, for almost a year. So this is not something that's waiting on new hardware coming along. This is something that we can do on existing hardware that we have right now. 